Hello and welcome to this video of Grote versus Gibson. Um, I thought this might be possibly my most ridiculous comparison yet of guitars, but having said that, it's actually not that ridiculous at all. One's many, many times the price of the other one, and the other one is just ridiculously cheap. And um, you might think it's a bit of a bag of bolts, and um, why would you ever want to buy one? But frankly, uh, they are both really good fun guitars to own. So I thought I would just go through a deep dive comparison of the Grote and the Gibson, and you can see what you get for the money, really. Because there's so much that's in common with these guitars, if you know what you're doing. And there's obviously a, a lot of differences. Let's not beat around the bush. Um, the Gibson is a fine piece of um, artwork almost. And the Grote, well, I don't know, you can make up your own mind. Um, I think it's an absolute beauty. And in fact, as time has gone on and I thought about doing this comparison, it's become less and less ridiculous in my mind to do. Because the Grote, um, I've done a review on that a little while on my channel, uh, a little while ago, and you will see that I think it's kind of got its problems, but it's a pretty cool guitar in a lot of ways. Whereas the Gibson, I haven't yet done a review on. Um, I've done a few, a few videos which featured it though, and it is, frankly, it's an awesome guitar. It is an awesome guitar, let's be honest. Um, there isn't really a lot wrong going on with it. It's got fantastic electronics, it's got nice build quality, it's got the full thickness maple top there and a mahogany body whereas the Grote um, supposedly mahogany body mahogany neck uh, rosewood fingerboard in fact and um, possibly indian laurel i think maybe on some it really just depends on availability that kind of stuff but the Grote is actually strangely enough quite a good guitar i would not dismiss it out of hand at all uh, just look at that flame top um, and it's really really gorgeous there's so much that can be done with this guitar I initially criticised it for the weak tuners, which I'm going to upgrade. Um, I've been playing it with those tuners for a little while. They're not terrible. They're not the best by a long way. The pickups, some people have actually said in the comments that um, a few people have taken these off and they found their single coils under there. I haven't yet taken them off. They do sound very much like humbuckers. I'm going to do a sound demo later and you'll, you tell me what you think. I'm not anxious to destroy these humbuckers to find out exactly whether they are single coils or not. They look like humbuckers, but hey, you never know. Um, it's fairly standard hardware on here. You do have that flame top. You do have um, these plastic knobs, which function fine. Um, there's no big issues with those. I'll do a smoothness test as well on these, actually, in the sound demo when I do it um, in a few moments. And you can see how smooth or not all these control knobs are. I would say this is a really great foundation guitar. If you know what you're doing with guitars, you know what you're doing and mucking about the screwdriver, sandpaper and all the rest of it, there's a lot you can do with a Grote and it is pretty, pretty awesome. I actually, as time's gone on, I've really learned to really enjoy this guitar. By the way, I'm not sponsored. I frankly have got no vested interest in saying nice things as usual about either brand, but um, the Grote is actually a really, really cool guitar. It looks so sweet with or without pit guard. I really love this thing. It's, it's really, really cool. Um, Gibson, obviously, this is a very, very nice guitar indeed. This is a relatively recent purchase. This has got the 490R, 490T in here. It's got the toggle switch. It does have a poker chip that came with it. Um, I've decided not to put it on for now, frankly, because I'm a little bit lazy and haven't done it, but I also think it looks really cool without. Well, I mean, why? I don't need to do that. This is a rosewood fretboard, and you do have the Gibson Deluxe tuners on here. Um, so no arguments there. It's got a nice slim neck on this one. It is about 21 and a half at the first, give or take, and about 23 odd at the 12th. I've measured it. As I say, a full review is coming on this guitar, but I just want to do a quick comparison of these two because you would think they are worlds apart, and in many ways they are. But if you are going for that kind of Les Paul sound, Les Paul look, and you're on a budget, and you can be bothered to spend a bit of time on it, the Groat is not to be dismissed at all, especially given that even, you know, kind of second hand, I'd say you might be able to pick up a Groat for, say, around about 100 to 200 dollars, pounds, euros, that kind of price. The Gibson is vastly more expensive than that. And this is a cheap one. So, um, you know, this is my one 
This is my one Gibson for the time being. Um, I might get a few others as time goes on, but obviously this is the greatest way more accessible. And if you want to have fun with a few guitars and play around, then you haven't got to remortgage your house. You haven't got to um, sell a load of guitars and upset the wife or girlfriend or whoever you're living with. No, you can just get a whole bunch of these and um, muck about, Harley Benson's, whatever you want. And I really, really rate this guitar. Is it night and day between these two? I would actually say no, it's not. It's not night and day. Um, you are paying a lot of money extra for iterative gains in what you actually receive. Now, what I would say is obviously the, the hardware on here could really do with upgrading here and there. Clearly these humbuckers, you might want to ch change over time. Stop tail bridge and tailpiece, you could change. I've not actually had any problems with those. That's fine as far as I'm concerned. The tuners are rubbish, um, they do need to go. The nuts you could update, that's probably just some generic ABS, whereas this is um, some, I don't know, synthetic nice, nice earth stuff, I would say, probably on the Gibson. Um, and yeah, it's just overall build quality and everything else. Clearly, this is a, this is a much loved, um, you know, not so high mass produced guitar. Whereas the, the Groat, you would guess, has been, as I said in my review, has been produced at volume probably pretty quickly. Um, and it has, you know, sort of slightly strange little um, quirks with it. You might be able to see that, for example, the neck kind of goes slightly in at the 12th. It's no big deal um, at all. But I mean, it's, I suppose it's part of the hand finishing of the thing. And overall, it's a really, really nice instrument that you could do a lot with. So that all said, I will get into a quick uh sound demo and then we'll do some overall thoughts okay so we'll do some quick tones on the gibson we'll test out how smooth these knobs are as well um we will know it should sound pretty good and the knobs should be pretty smooth but hey just in case that's just a simple way that's obviously that is through it's not obvious to you it's obvious to me um it's a JC clean type of sound, so it sounds it sounds really nice. It sounds quite lush. That's both pickups, by the way. Sounds really nice. It sounds really nice in terms of the smoothness. The tone control controls. They're nice and smooth, as you would think. Volume. Nice and kind of gradual, not too many jumps or anything like that. Sounds good. Let's hop straight to the groat. Okay, so now I've got the groat. We'll start off in the bridge position, everything at 100, and we'll just see. Again, it's that kind of JC clean. powerful actually it sounds really good um, there's the middle position it lacks the clarity of the Gibson but it's kind of got a warmer sound to it the sound isn't necessarily better or worse than the Gibson. It depends on what you kind of wanted to go for. Um, 
I didn't see any, and that's really why the reason why I, I kind of feel like the internet is um, encouraging me, um, forcing me to change the pickups on these from what everything I've read and seen. But I own this guitar. Um, I think they actually sound pretty good. I, I really like the way they sound. I don't, I don't feel particularly motivated to drop another few pounds or, you know, any kind of money um, upgrading pickups. The tuners is a different matter. It's fine for everyday use, but in terms of bending, um, it goes out of tune fairly quick. So tuners definitely are getting a change, but... <laughs> smoothness that could be a different matter of the control smoothness of the controls let's see I mean that's your volume it's actually pretty smooth it's not a, just a kind of a dial down and jump 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 and off um, it is actually pretty smooth, that volume. What about the tone? Let's see about that. I think there's, it goes down quite gradually and then suddenly there's a, there's a step change right at the end where it just kind of goes kind of muffly at the end. Yeah, it's kind of gradual-ish until you get right to the end and it does sort of have quite a, a big step change. Uh, well, it's, it's not too bad, it's not terrible, um, but yeah, it's not, I wouldn't call it super smooth or anything, um, the tone, but the volume is quite smooth. Overall, um, I think it's a really nice guitar. So let's just, I'll just grab a Gibson and um, we'll do overall thoughts as I'm stood here. Um, so Gibson grow obviously the Gibson is a, is a, a superior guitar. Um, if you've got the money, that's the one probably that you should go for. Hey, I mean, that's just logical, isn't it really? In a lot of ways. The Grove though is uh, quite a beast. It's actually a pretty great guitar with huge potential. Um, all I'm going to change are the, uh, the tuners on this thing. They're a bit on rough and ready. Um, it is what it is. Um, really no me feet. On a guitar, which to be fair, is a set neck guitar and it is dirt cheap. Um, you know, if you look around, these things are not expensive at all. It's a wicked, wicked guitar. Um, I am not sponsored by either. Um, as I say, I've got PRS, I've got Fenders, I've got all sorts. But I really do like the Grope. I think it's a cool guitar and it is just, I mean, that top is just beautiful. I know it's not all about how a guitar looks, but it does make a difference, let's be honest. Um, we all buy these because they look nice or look cool. And uh, this does look really, really cool. And mind you, the Gibson looks really cool in a different way. Understated, should we say. Um, but yeah, both really cool guitars. And um, yeah, don't dismiss the Grope. Don't dismiss it. It is a pretty cool thing. Right, see you next one. Cheers.